slowly, I realized that the Nazis lied to us. One time, my friend Helmut told me, he said, uh, why don't we get rid of these? See, they were postcard sizes, you know. We call them f uh, flyers, you know. And he typed on them, Hitler the murderer. Hitler is the only guilty one, you know. And on the bottom he typed, this is a chain letter, please pass on. And uh, he said, get rid of those. And he gave me eight. I said, well, Where's your toilet? I get rid of him quick. He said, you know what I meant. I said, yeah, I know what you mean. So uh, that's how it started. Where are you going? OK. <laughs> we can cut that out. <laughs> She's spending my money now. Oh, is she? <laughs> they handcuffed me. And then they brought me down to the waiting uh, paddy wagon, police, and uh, off we went. And he opened the cell door and kicked me in, you know, and there was the door slammed and there I was in the cell. All alone in there, nobody to talk to, nothing to read. Oh, man, you know, so you start talking to yourself. Hi. But if you answer, then there's something wrong. Hi, Carl. Thank you. How are you? You know, it was terrible, terrible. I said to myself, what am I in for? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We were tried for high treason and aiding and betting the enemy. I mean, in any country during wartime, that is pretty dangerous. I finally realized, after all I've been through, this is my mission. I have to talk about it. I have to warn and admonish young people and older people that anything like this should never happen again. <laughs>